So Hyper OS 2.0 is announced. It says in the China, of course, it's not global. It's not India yet, but maybe in upcoming months, month or so, you might get Hyper OS 2.0. Here's a first look. Some of the great features in Hyper OS 2.0. We will talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Just in case, if you don't know, I'm using this Hyperways, a ported ROM, not an official version, but this is a ported edition, which I tried on Mi 11X, all thanks to the developers. But the thing is, we will give an, I'll just try to provide you an overview of this thing. Firstly, if you set it up for the first time, you will notice some of the changes are here. If you are setting up Hyperways 1.0 for now, you will notice some of the changes are here in the UI. Also new Hyper AI engine, we'll talk about that in a bit. But for now, as you can see, this is what I have. Even if you take a look at the system navigation mode, the full screen gestures learn option is now changed. And also after setting it up, we do not have that arrow available. Now we have the continue button at the bottom. These are some minor changes available with the HyperOS 2.0, but it's of course one of the major changes in HyperOS 2.0 is about the lock screen. There are a lot of options available in the lock screen to customize, which seems quite impressive actually. And how it this works, as you can see, we also have the dynamic wallpaper support. For example, if I try to apply this one, let me show you. This is a live wallpaper or you can say dynamic wallpaper seems quite impressive. These things are not present with HyperOS 1.0 and with HyperOS 2.0, there are more options in terms of customizations. Also, this is based on Android 15. So some of the features inspired from Android 15 are already present, which was expected and also a very good thing. After you will, after, I mean, whenever you click on the options to enable any wallpaper, you have the option to download the dynamic wallpaper. So you have to download that for the first time whenever you apply. And it's optional if you want to enable it, the dynamic wallpaper or not. Even if you have downloaded it, you don't want to apply it on a device. It's totally up to you, but you have to download it if you want to apply it on your device. Other options are literally same, just the UI has some of the changes, some of the enhancement. It's about the wallpaper effects, but it also has the option for some other things. For example, the fonts. So for example, as you can see, if you hold here and click on customize lock screen, customize options, you also have some font effects available. And as you can see, this is about the customization. So yes, definitely some of the improvements are here, are here in the terms of customizations because this is HyperOS 2.0. Previously, which was the initial version of HyperOS 1.0 one year ago almost, this was that was the initial stage. So it was expected that some of the things might be changed in the upcoming future. And this is what we have. Also with HyperOS 3.0, you will see some more differences. For example, and if you take a look at this kind of thing, there are some improvement in the animations here. In case you don't know, Android 15 also released with the Pixel devices for the Pixel devices. And I made a video already on that. And in case you don't know, Android 15 is also focused, focusing on some animation improvements. In this one, you can see this is also improving uh, the animations. The focus is on the animations. If you take and if you click and hold the brightness bar for a few seconds, you will notice this kind of pop-up where you can adjust the auto brightness and dark mode, etc. Even the volume panel has some slight changes. The blur is now quite improved. One thing keep in mind, these things, I mean, these 100% things will not be available for the all Xiaomi devices. If you use India stable, global stable, HyperOS 2.0 might not give you all these features, but some of the features I'm showing you right now, like lock screen and the control center, these things shall be same in your case too. But the features I will show you after this one might not be available for you. For example, this one, beta test AI writing. Of course, uh, some of the things are now coming with AI. Definitely HyperOS is also focusing on AI. And as you can see, beta test AI writing, for example, this is available in the notes app. If I try to open this one, click this one, this is how it's looking like. And in case you don't know, it's a bit inspired from Siri. I mean, if you have ever used iOS, iOS 18 also has some of the improvements with Siri. This is the new UI as I'm also using iPhone. So I know that iOS UI is looking like this one, but it's just not like that. It's not working in this case, definitely because it's China exclusive for now. 
we also have some of the changes with some of the hyper ai options as you can see ai writing ai dynamic wallpapers ai speech recognition not so sure if these features might come to india or global stable but for now these features are present with china you also have the ai dynamic wallpaper support which is also almost similar to google's ai wallpapers definitely you can install them on most of the devices but these things might be available might not be not so sure so these were the things just wanted to let you know this is about the hyperos 2.0 which i tried on my device let me know in the comment box if you like hyperos 2.0 or not and yes this is it thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one until then take care